Hey guys, today in this video I will be reviewing the Raspberry Pi Zero. So, if you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'd suggest you go and watch that first because it shows me unboxing the Zebra Zero Raspberry Pi case and the Raspberry Pi Zero itself. Now, I've I had a little fiddle around with this and I've got to know how to use it a little bit. I've installed the Raspbian software on it. I've gone on the Wi-Fi. I've yeah, it's quite useful. And in this video, I plan to hook it up to an old TV to show its uses. So putting all this aside, the Raspberry Pi Zero. I've sold it on here on the GPO port, some sockets, some IO ports, just so that I can do some a little bit of coding, a little bit of programming, just use those to do stuff. So on this side you've got a mini HDMI, a power in, USB, and both in the form of micro USB. On this side, because this is the version 1.3, you've got the camera port, nothing on this side, and around here you've got the micro SD card slot. And you'll notice that inside this casing, on the Raspberry Pi Zero, that little black chip, that's what controls the whole board. And what Raspberry Pi have actually done is they've stacked two chips on top of each other just to get the really small design. I don't know whether I'll be able to focus into that on camera. No, probably not, but there are two chips within that black one there. Um, I can't remember what they're using, but that's that. So, it's pretty easy to hook up all of your I can focus, there we go. Or your mouse, keyboard, everything like that. And all you do is you use this converter that comes with the Essentials Kit. If you didn't get the Essentials Kit, then you can buy them pretty cheaply off of Amazon. And then, because that only provides you with one USB port, you'll probably want to get one of these. And this is just a cheap one I got from a shop down the road. And all you do, plug that into the OTG cable, and now you've got four USB ports. To connect the HDMI to your telly, or monitor, or whatever you have to display whatever you're doing on your Raspberry Pi, connect that in there, you should hear a little click. And then on your TV, you'll either have a VGA, or a HDMI slot, or something else. If your TV doesn't have HDMI or your monitor doesn't have HDMI, you can buy converters pretty cheaply again off of Amazon. Most electronic stores will do those. So that's now plugged into my TV and all that's left is the power and these little USB things. I just need to quickly stop my TV from turning off. It doesn't seem to like me at all. Okay, wait a second, there we go. So, there's the little Wi-Fi adapter there. I'm going to plug that in. I'm going to plug in my mouse. And I'm going to plug in my keyboard. So now if I just switch up to this view over here of the monitor. Now, unfortunately, I can't get a setup video because I've already set this up and I don't want to go through that whole entire process again. It wasn't much, you know, you only had to click a few things, but it just, it's quite time consuming. So, I hope that's visible on this camera. So, what we want to do now with the Raspberry Pi is connect the power through the 
micro USB slot just there and the monitor will turn on well not turn on but you get what I mean I'm just going to really tilt this up so you'll get the uh, startup screen here just all the code running and what will happen if you've never started it up before it will bring up a thing called noobs which is just this easy screen and it takes you through the process of installing Raspbian or whatever software you want and once this turns on, here we go, I've got the mouse control now it's actually quite a snappy device so I've actually moved these onto the desktop but if you don't have these on the desktop this is Raspbian software by the way so you might not have this if you're running a different operating system so go on to menu here I've actually installed the Arduino IDE because I do a lot of Arduino I don't think I've ever shown that on my YouTube channel but I will be getting into some of that at a later date that's some of my Arduino stuff over there so programming I'm sorry if this screen's a bit off centered but best I can get it. Programming, you've got all these different programs you can use, Scratch, Python, some of the most popular ones. Office, you've got the Microsoft equivalent, so that would be Excel, don't know what that would be, no idea, uh, just standard Microsoft things, you'd have to go into those, have a little play around with them. Think and press is PowerPoint, draw, I don't know, shapes, something. Internet, you've got a couple of options. I find Epiphany Web Browser to be the best. You've also got your mail there, a couple other things. Games come installed, you've got Minecraft Pi and Python games, that's a little library of games. Accessories, calculator, file manager all the things you can see there. Terminal is very very useful when you want to install other programs like for example Arduino. Electronics that's again Arduino, I added that. All the other things just standard computer stuff. So opening up let's have a look LibreOffice. I'll take you through a couple of the applications and you can see from those this video might be a bit longer than some usual videos just because Raspberry Pi reviewing all the little bits of software but next I'll do something I might do Minecraft then move on to one of the web browsers so that did take a while to load I think the Raspberry Pi Zero is only 512 megabytes of RAM or 1 gigabyte I think it's 512 but yeah so let's have a look so pretty easy didn't even get that first letter then obviously you can highlight just like word adjust your font sizes whatever you want the equivalent to Microsoft Word and I do not want to save that. So let's open up something else, Minecraft. And in the top right corner, up here, you have how much of the RAM is being used, or the CPU. And if it's at 100%, it's going to be quite slow, but yeah. I don't actually have any sound coming out of the Raspberry Pi at the moment. Haven't connected that. I could, but that would involve some more plugging in anyway so let's go and open this world pretty fast standard minecraft use your WASD controls and sprint around jump whatever typical minecraft build blocks 
random, yeah, and exit, and then your close button is actually over here. So next, the web browser. Now this bit can be quite slow sometimes, and but for this you will need the uh, internet adapter. And all you do is just plug that in and it's ready to use. Pretty simple. And that does come with the essentials kit, the Wi-Fi essentials kit in um, the Pi Hut. So I will actually leave a link in the description. It's very hard to get hold of a Raspberry Pi at the moment. It took me about six months of going on, finding they'd been sold out, da da da, again and again, until I finally saw it was in stock. So. The browser they use is actually something called DuckDuckGo, that's the default browser. And let's have a look on YouTube. See how it runs media. In fact, I should probably plug the sound in for this one. Don't know how that's going to work, actually. I'm just going to quickly get a speaker, I'll be right back. Got a little speaker here, don't know whether this will even work. That's a really annoying noise. Okay. So, just click on YouTube. And I'm going to test out the sound, I'm going to test out video. And again, it's just like using a normal computer, but it's more Linux based. Anyone can use it if they know how to use a standard old computer. As you can see, my Wi-Fi is very slow, but it's not this slow. This is the Raspberry Pi Zero. This is, yeah. So if I bring up a song that has, I think I might get copyright infringement for playing a song. What should I do? Let's just type in something random. Video test. And again, this will be very slow. Now, I do not want a 4K Ultra HD one. I just want a very simple video. Has that got sound? Let's just go for it. Hello. Clicking me. Oh yeah. Up there you can see it's at a hundred percent right now. Yeah, it's loading. So it's pretty snappy with Oh so it is playing sound through as well. That's good. Okay, so as you can see there, it's quite a good video. In fact, I might actually just play a song just to see how much lag there is between the sound file and the video. I'll play one that isn't so popular that won't be picked up by YouTubers easily. Uh, 21 Pilots, my favourite band. Let's have a look. One that won't pick up as well that has got a video file. Oh, did I see video there? Let's just go stressed out. Who cares about copyright? I will remove it if I do get a copyright warning anyway, so as in I'll remove the sound file. It'll be interesting to see the difference between the sound and the video. So I'll turn the volume up on the speaker. Okay. So this is taking a little while to load. I would shorten this video down, but the whole point is to see the specs, how fast it is, kind of thing, for if you're wanting to buy one, if you're wanting to use one, just to compare to other people's if you think yours is slow. Things like that, so I'm not going to speed this up 
and it's loading now anyway. Have we got sound? Yes, we do. I wish I found some better sounds no one's ever oh, heard. Oh, and it's freezing. I wish freezing. I had a better voice to sing some better words. I wish I found some chords in an order. Really good video quality here. I didn't have to rhyme up the time I sang. I was told when I get older, all my fears would shrink. But now I'm insecure, and I care what people think. I care what you think. My name's blurry face, and I care what you think. Okay, so that's it all example of watching YouTube. I'm just going to have to quickly go. Sorry about that, I had to quickly answer a phone call. So, that is a YouTube test. I'm going to close down the browser. So that's most things. It's all pretty simple. What did I just do there? Oh, I just opened up File Explorer. Let's open up Terminal, just to show you. So, if you're familiar with Linux-based terminal kind of thing then this will be pretty easy for you but that's that so I'll quickly go back to the view down there and I'll end the video so that there was a quick review on the Raspberry Pi Zero in my next couple of videos I'm hoping to do something based on my Arduino I've never shown any of this on my YouTube channel but Hoping to do a couple of videos about it. Get all my parts there. These are my current projects. I will get into those with you. And that's. I might do another 3D printing video sometime soon. But yeah, next video, hopefully, going to be about Arduino. Post in the comments below if you want to suggest what I should do in my next video to do with Arduino. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more content like this, electronics based things, 3D printing, all that other stuff, please be sure to like, comment and subscribe. See ya!